Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and I didn't think we'd be doing another video about the Joker already. I did a video yesterday talking about how uh, some people on Twitter, including a, a relatively famous YouTuber, were kind of taking Joaquin Phoenix to task for improvising, imp doing some improv during his fight scenes in Joker. They said he's too dangerous, he's too unpredictable, he acts like a five-year-old, he shouldn't do it, and he doesn't deserve Oscar nominations. And now Saturday Night Live, SNL, is also chiming in that the Joker doesn't deserve Oscar nominations because it's all about white male rage. White male rage. They turned into a little ditty last night on SNL and pointed out that uh, as far as they're concerned or many news outlets are concerned, all the movies nominated this year were because of white male rage. So we're going to talk about that and talk about the rage of the Joker. The rage of the Joker. Before we get into that, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We're at about 90,000 subs, hoping for 100,000 soon. Hit that subscribe button, guys, for more content. Now, I don't watch Saturday Night Live live because I don't think it's been worth watching in like 30 years. But every once in a while, they do something funny. Uh, I didn't think this was particularly funny. I did think that the, uh, the Grouch parody with Hopper from... Stranger Things was actually pretty funny. I, I've watched that many times. Squid King loves it. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, this was just uh, this is just political commentary, but it's on the news section, of course, on SNL Weekend Update. So it makes sense, right? Uh, so if you missed it, I'm not going to run it. Uh, I'm not going to play it in the video because we'll absolutely get demonetized. But I will put a link to it in the description below. You can go watch it because you know SNL needs more views on YouTube. Uh, Saturday Night Live absolutely needs your views. They're struggling on YouTube right now. And, uh, you know, we've got to make sure that SNL can compete fairly with all of us little indie YouTubers. I was being facetious in case you didn't catch that. Anyway, uh, SNL's White Male Rage song. This version coming from comicbook.com. They had Adam Driver on. It actually was pretty funny. But they were talking about the Oscars during the weekend update. Now, we know... That mainstream media, MSM, is very salty about Joker getting all the nominations they've gotten. There's been a lot of discussion about why there weren't more female directors nominated, including the director of Little Women. I can't answer that. Uh, but to say that the Joker did not deserve nominations, at least for Best Actor for Joaquin Phoenix, you know, is kind of crap because the movie did deserve nominations. 11, I, that's up for debate too, but it absolutely did deserve to be nominated. So it never ends, does it? Because they tried to tank the Joker before it came out. Uh, the media tried very, very hard to tank this movie. And of course, you know, back then they were trying to say, oh, this movie's dangerous. White male rage, this movie is, is dangerous and some people are going to get hurt because, you know, only only uh, raging white men can hurt people and this movie is all about them. Now, if you've actually seen the Joker, you'll know that the Joker could literally be anybody. He just happens to be a white male, but he could be anybody because the problems that Arthur Fleck goes through could basically uh, happen to anyone, right? I mean, a lot of people feel disenfranchised by the system. Um, you know, it could have been anyone, could have been male or female or black and or white or whatever. He just felt like he was completely stepped on. He was dealing with mental issues. Uh, he'd been lied to his whole life. He'd been abused his whole life. And there are a lot of people who have gone through similar things like that. Uh, the white male part comes in because it's the Joker. And, uh, you know, this movie would have probably gotten more critical praise had it featured a more diverse lead, um, but they had to make that tie to the comic books, even though, you know, some people have argued with me as to whether or not it's a comic book movie. I still don't think it feels like a comic book movie per se, at least not a superhero comic book movie. Definitely this version of the Joker is not the comic book version of the Joker, but it would have made a billion dollars at the box office had it just been called uh, Sad Clown or Clown Rage or white clown rage. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't have made a billion dollars at the box office. Media tried to tank. It didn't work. Uh, now it's getting Oscars. There's lots of blowback. We're seeing attacks against Joaquin Phoenix. You know, Joaquin Phoenix, who's a pretty progressive, non-threatening guy. I mean, the guy's out there doing activism for animal rights and climate change, and he's not uh, an aggressive, uh, uh, raging white male. That is a character that he plays. 
Um, and frankly, Arthur Fleck was pushed to that place. He, he wasn't naturally ragey. If you watch the movie, you'll see that things pushed him, circumstances pushed him there. Anyway, during the weekend update, cast member Melissa uh, Villasenor came on screen to sing songs about a few Oscar-nominated films, including Joker. The Todd Phillips-directed movie is up for 11 Oscars. Villasenor hilariously summed it up using three words, white male rage. In fact, there are actually a few nominated features that can be described that way. You can watch the clip below. And uh, she's got some of the... Uh, some of the lyrics here and they talk about how despite being the most nominated film of the year joker is the lowest rated best picture nominee on rotten tomatoes well yeah the movie was met with mostly positive reviews when it premiered where it earned the festival's top prize however the film's rotten tomato score dropped to 78 percent once it was screened again at the toronto film festival yeah because toronto is going to have a huge problem with this movie and now it's settled at 69 percent Despite the mixed reviews from critics, the audience score is higher at 88%. Comicbook.com's own Brandon Davis loved the film, calling it an insane masterpiece. Look, I can tell you exactly what happened. It's not about the quality of the film. It's about the messaging of the film. And some of the critics in Canada and the U.S., North America, decided that the film was problematic because of white male rage. Again, though, Arthur Fleck could be anybody. You know, he could be anybody. Um, it had nothing to do with his skin color or his gender. Uh, it was just the fact that this guy was an outcast from society. And believe it or not, uh, believe it or not, uh, anybody can be an outcast. You know, there's, there's this crazy notion that uh, uh, just because you're a certain gender or a certain skin tone that uh, you are incapable of being an outcast, that you are always going to be accepted at the cool kids table you know, just because, and it doesn't really work that way. Look, the skit was a joke, but it wasn't a joke because a lot of people are legitimately having a problem with Joker getting this many nominations. Uh, Refinery29, Melissa Villasenor roasted the Oscars for rewarding white male rage. Uh, Villasenor roasted the Academy Awards, putting most of her focus on how the Academy is rewarding white male rage. Are they? Uh, Refinery29 is going on to say that the thing is, is that's pretty much the theme of the Oscars where not one woman was nominated for Best Director and only one performer of color was nominated in the acting categories. Uh, might be why Villasenor's song for The Irishman sounded familiar right down to the same Brazilian beat. This time she was able to whittle the film starring the D.H. Al Pacino and Robert De Niro down to just one very telling verse. They're old and they're young and it's white male rage. White male rage. Uh, so, look, you know, again, I completely get this being a joke, but it's just, it's a pattern uh, that we're seeing, that we've seen. And I, I, you know, I called this, I called this early in the year. I said, the Joker is going to be the next Alita, but it's going to be a bigger deal than Alita. It's going to be an outright culture war. I mean, we saw, we saw how they attacked uh, Todd Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix in the media. We saw how... A journalist tried to jump Joaquin Phoenix during an interview and he he almost walked out or he did walk out and they had to talk him into coming back but then we saw that Warner Brothers smartly didn't let any journalists talk to their people during the premiere uh, there were you know there was a lot of weirdness about this movie you know and you can talk about the movie its merits uh, whether or not it's overrated or not uh, I completely get that but uh, you know this this is absolutely a case study for uh, woke journalist rage, you know, woke journalist rage because they could not stand that this movie had financial success, that this movie had critical success. Now that this movie is uh, getting all kinds of Oscar nominations, again, that doesn't mean it's going to win. It doesn't mean it's going to win, but they were foiled. You know, they were foiled. Warner Brothers shut them out. Uh, audiences love this movie and they tried so hard to destroy it and even now leading up to the oscars there's a lot of you know jabs like this being made about this movie the, the gist of it being is that a lot of journalists a lot of people in hollywood don't think the joker deserves it you know but by extension and that's fair that's fair to talk about a movie that way right uh but by extension they've they've taken it beyond and they've taken to taking pot shots at joaquin phoenix and to todd phillips and uh, making it all about being, you know, white male rage when it's not. The movie's not about 
white male rage. It's about being disenfranchised and mental illness, um, you know, and uh, taking the the inhibitors off because Arthur has a lot of fantasies. You know, uh, a lot of us, regardless of gender or skin tone, have a lot of fantasies too, I'm sure. Just difference is we don't act on them. Uh, you know, so uh, very, very, uh, very interesting. But this is trending now. This is one of the top videos, I think, on YouTube right now. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if Joker walks away with any awards or if the Academy backs down because of all the backlash. You know, who knows? Uh, I think if nothing else, Joaquin Phoenix should get Best Actor. I think he absolutely deserves Best Actor. And a lot of people could argue successfully that the movie is basically carried by his portrayal of Arthur Fleck. Um, and I would I would completely agree with that. But, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to sweep sweep the Oscars. It's not going to get all 11, I don't think. Uh, and at this point, I think a lot of people are probably going to be afraid <laughs> afraid to vote for it. Because can you imagine the backlash? If Joker swept the Oscars on top of everything else, on top of everything else that's gone on uh, in regards to this film, it would be catastrophic. It would be, there would be uh, wailing in the streets, right? Wailing in the streets that uh, the Joker, a film about toxic masculinity that's not actually about toxic masculinity, and white male rage that's not actually about white male rage uh, somehow won a bunch of Oscars. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and uh, we'll keep on top of this as we get closer to the Oscars. I think we're going to see more and more hit pieces uh, in regards to the Joker, in regards to Joaquin Phoenix, uh, in regards to Todd Phillips, uh, Warner Brothers, whoever's uh, in the way, basically, because this movie is not going to be allowed to win. And if it wins, there's going to be a lot of backlash. We'll talk later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.